Uh, and I'm human again. Hello everybody. Uh, I, I didn't have the best night's sleep, but um, I've had more than I've had the preceding day. Um, so that's something, if nothing else. Uh, it's a glorious morning? Question mark? Um, it's it's alright, it's pleasant. Uh, it's not actively raining. Um, I'm heading down to go to Nico um, later. In the meantime, I've managed to find um, a, a can of ketchup. Um, I'm presuming it's some sort of tomato, tomato juice. So let's give that a go, shall we? All right, correct to open. Let's try it. Yep. Carbonated tomato juice. I'm not going to be finishing this. What will they think of next? Hello again, my little blockage. How the devil are you? I don't know why I'm doing that face. Um, hello, it's me again. Why do I say that? I've already done an introduction to this in the previous video I did, where I had carbonated tomato juice. That was horrible. Um, that was really, really bad. I don't know what I was expecting. Saw the tomato on the can. I thought, oh, it couldn't possibly be tomato juice. Um, it was, and it was carbonated co uh, tomato juice as well, which made it worse somehow I don't know I don't know how but anyway uh, I've been to 7-eleven and I have bought a few items to share with you well I say share with you I'm gonna be eating them all um, so we have some sort of uh, I have forgotten the name of it now the Bloody fly, frying process. Tempura, that's it. Uh, some tempura fried something. Um, so we're going to give that a go to um, to wash the taste of uh, tomato juice out of your mouth. Surely. Mmm. Pork. That is tonkatsu. And... It's very, very tasty. I've had this before. Um, and, the, for, I mean, from a convenience store, right, but bear in mind, right, so you go to, like, you sort of, you, you, you run the mill, uh, corner shop or something in the UK, you try and get some for lunch. You're lucky if you get a ropey sandwich that doesn't poison you. Um, Japanese convenience stores, uh, not only, I mean, this, this, is, this is lovely and hot, um, I'm very unlikely to die from it. It's very tasty, and it costs 230 yen, which is a pound. Um, I mean, I'd take this over a over a like a Ginster's pasty or a, or a sausage roll any day. Um, so I'm going to finish this, and then we'll move on to the next thing. So uh, carrying on from the uh, animal themed snacks. Uh, yesterday we had koala bastards. Um, today we've got froggy buggers. Um, Pat and Pendy. Um, I don't know what these are. Um, I don't know if they're frog flavoured. I've always quite wanted to try frog's legs. Um, didn't think that my first experience of it would be in what sort of corn puff, uh, corn puff form um, in a hotel in Tokyo. But you know, let's let's give it a go. Well, I've got no frame of reference, obviously, um, but they don't smell like frog. I can't really tell what they smell. They smell like um, they smell like monster munch, if anything. Let's try one. Wow! <laughs> oh, that's got some garlic to it. Jesus. I mean, I'm a man who likes his garlic, um, so these are lovely for me. Um, I don't imagine they're going to be too lovely for the people on the subway tomorrow when I'm going to Osaka. Um, 
but honestly, fuck them. I've <laughs> paid three and a half thousand pounds for this trip. Uh, I'm I'm going to enjoy every every last garlicky snack I can get my little grubby mitts on. Mmm. Very nice. Okay. So, as I said earlier, well, just now, Osaka tomorrow, um, which is probably my my favourite place on earth. Um, I only got to stay there for two days last time, but it's a gourmet paradise. Um, I imagine that, well, I mean, that's where half of the weird shit from, from last time came from. Um, so hopefully, uh, Osaka is going to be good for that again, um, but at the same time, I'm going to be out of line my belly with some amazing food. Um, so, until tomorrow, goodbye.